Okay, uh, let's look at the homework 3.9, problem number 8. All right, so let's do this problem. All right, it says that the Boyle's Law states that the, when a sample of gas is compressed at the constant temperature, okay, so P's pressure, uh, V is the volume, and the equation is that P times V is equal to C, where C is a constant, all right? Suppose that this, uh, at a certain instant, the volume is, uh, so the volume is given, all right? So maybe I'll start writing stuff that's given. So the equation is uh, P times V is equal to some constant C, all right? We got that, so we got, a, got that from here, all right? And also the volume is uh, 400 cubic centimeters, right? So uh, we know that the volume V is given to be uh, 400, all right? Then the pressure is, uh, so you have a pressure, so pressure here is 200 um, kPa. So you have uh, P is equal to uh, 200. All right, and the pressure is increasing at the rate of uh, 20 K uh, PA per minute. So uh, that's uh, what, uh, so you have a P, uh, DP over uh, DT. So this is equal to uh, 20. All right, so those things are given. All right, then we're uh, looking for at what rate is the volume decreasing at this instant? So we're looking for dV over uh, dt. All right, so this is what we are looking for. All right, so since uh, the equation uh, does not have any derivative, so I guess we need to uh, take the derivative. So let's take the derivative. All right, uh, d over uh, dt. All right, so we have two things multiplied together. So you have a p and a v, All right? So uh, uh, product rule, uh, take the derivative of p, first guy, uh, with respect to t, uh, times the second guy, so it's going to be v, plus first guy is p, times the derivative of the volume uh, with respect to t, right? And the uh, derivative of the right-hand side is going to be zero because c is a constant, all right? Then what you're looking for is dv over dt, so let's try to isolate that first. So we're gonna subtract, all right? Um, I'm gonna write it as a v uh, D, actually, maybe I shouldn't do that, All right? Maybe uh, uh, subtract dp over dt times v, right? That way you have a p times dv over dt, All right? This is equal to a negative dp over dt times v. All right, then we can just uh, divide through by p. So divide through by p to get uh, dv over dt is equal to right negative uh, dp over dt, and also v was there, but we have to divide by p. All right. Then uh, we have everything we, we need, so this is gonna be equal to, just plug in numbers, right? So it's a negative, right? So this is uh, 20 right here. So plug in 20, right? And times uh, volume is 400, so put 400 here. And the pressure is 200, P is 200, so 200. All right, then clean it up, all right, 20, all right, so that's gonna be 10, all right, and uh, here's 10, and you have uh, 40, all right, so this is going to be uh, negative 40, 
All right. So uh, that's that. So let's uh, type it in. Um, so the oh, uh, unit would be. Um, so it's a volume. So cubic centimeters per uh, minute. All right. So let's type it in. All right. So it says decreasing. So that that will take care of the negative sign. And uh, what was uh, forty? Sorry. Um, so it's going to be. Uh, 40 All right let's check the answer all right it came back all right looks like uh, we got this one correctly all right that's it I hope that uh, this was clear